Hi guys, welcome to my channel again. For those who would like to buy this product, you can find the link at the explanations part of this video. As you can see here, there's a little damage at the left part of the box on the way from China to Turkey. The review will be for Maxto M3 Intercom Camera, which is the one of the most wondered products. Well-known brand intercoms, as you know, but only intercoms can be bought at least 200 bucks nowadays. And this product is both intercom and camera at the same time, with a price of only 100 US dollar. Now let's open the box, review the product and taste it. Doesn't mention, but this is the power button. Yes, now it's time to check it. It seems it's waterproof and covered with soft silicone. This part, there are holes for socket input. Mini type C socket, intercom connection socket, And here is micro SD memory card part. This part you can set up and down the voice. And when we push this button, intercom voice will open and close. Yes, now it's time to check it. It seems it's waterproof and covered with soft silicone. And this button is Bluetooth, even they didn't mention it. This is 64GB scan disk, micro SD memory card, which we prefer together with the product. This card has really performance monster. Especially if you have other device around 10 UHS-1, you can get 4 key videos without any problem. And here is instruction book in English, Germany, Spanish, Chinese, French and Russian language. Let's go on. These are installation kits. Right one is for gumming and left one is for screwing. Actually, I personally prefer to screwing because it's gonna be more solid. Some of my friends, uh, rider friends, face the problems about that because uh, it might fall or breaking off, especially during high speeds. Speakers and microphones. That is an important thing before installation. This one in the middle is intercom socket, so we should put this in here. Do not put to charge socket, it is important. Yes, now we go on installation. This is my helmet and already secret GoPro Hero 7 action camera. For be able to compare them at the same time, we are installing the intercom set to the helmet. Then I will show both of them. First. We should decide which part of the helmet we will install. Actually, I personally prefer on left side because I experienced that on right side, the angle of is less than right side. So comparing the sides, I prefer the left one. Let's start with installing the SD card now. This part is important. Please watch carefully. This conductive side of the memory card should face on top. And now we should hear the click voice. Now installation. Nearly all helmets has an empty space when you take off these ear pads for sticking, fixing the intercom ear lap. I'm trying to show it. I'm showing this space with on right and left side. 
These stickers are coming with the device inside the box. We will use the ear pads for installation. We are gumming the stickers like this. If there is no space for ear pads at your helmet, we should carefully put it there by using Vel Velcro band part. This one in my hand is the bigger one and it is more useful for open face and for face helmets. As you see from the box, there are two types of ear pads. Since I'm using full face helmet, I prefer to use other small one. With these clips, we can use both microphones. Now we will install the Maxto M3 device to the outside of helmet by screwing it. This is an easy step. Here we will connect the small microphone. Now it's time to put the pads first right and then left. This is not so easy, but it's not so difficult as well. It depends how often do you use your hands for these kind of things. Now we are using the clips for screwing in a very soft and gentle way. Please pay attention not to use your full strength to not damage the device or your helmet. Come on. At the middle part, there is mini USB input. After fixing the clips, this cable will go under the back path of the helmet like this way. Now installation is done and it's time to compare the quality with GoPro Hero 7 together with a test shot. Since this will be my first product review, there might be some amateur parts. So if you have some questions that I did not explain in this video, please send your questions at comment part of this video. And sorry for that in advance. The review will be for Maxto M3 Intercom Camera, which is the one of the most wondered product. Well known brand intercoms as you know, but only intercoms can be bought at least 200 bucks nowadays. And this product is both intercom and camera at the same time, with a price of only 100 US dollar. For testing, I've been installed and other empty helmets also, as you can see here. When we push long to this button, there will be a green light of start. And when we push it, it suddenly starts. This button is photo and wireless. This button is Bluetooth.
This part is goes up and down. Let's start it now. Yes, green light is wings. Unfortunately, there is no specific software of Maxto M3, but there is an application named Recam. Now we are opening Wi-Fi from our mobile and choose uh, the M3 network. When you see the other networks, you will see M3 there. And yes, easily connected. There is an easy menu here. As you see, device is supported 1080p. Even this doesn't mention anywhere. Uh, I can tell you, you can also record 30 FPS. As a result of this video, when we consider the cheapest intercom is 200 bucks, this device is both intercom and middle quality cam with only a hundred bucks. I have done the compression with GoPro Hero 7 since I have only this machine now. But this cam actually accuse to GoPro Hero 3. If you ask my idea, a hundred percentage I confirm and recommend to buy this device with this ray. You can buy from the link which I have mentioned at the explanation part of this video. Thank you for watching.